Good morning. Okay. Yesterday we did a trial run with air pressure to uh, check the landing gear in the left float. Uh, it was noted that the uh, main gear actuated very quickly while the nose wheel took a little time. Uh, what that is due to, to a couple of things. Um, first of all, I was using air pressure to push oil back through a small tube, so it was getting a little bit more resistance. That resistance will kind of equalize a little bit if I'm using oil on both sides of the tube with pressure. But the biggest problem is that the uh, stainless tubes that go from the main gear to the nose wheel are very small. Um, unfortunately, it's necessary for them to be small because of how they travel from the nose wheel or from the main wheel to the nose wheel. Uh, they're basically under this step here on top of the float. If I had known that this problem would have existed, had you know, and put the, if I had known this problem would have existed back when I was building the floats, I would have. Uh, installed larger lines before I put this cap on uh, but to take it off would be a very large undertaking so uh, the reason that it takes the uh, nose wheel so long to move is that it's really more of a volume thing than it is a pressure thing uh, because the cylinders have a fair amount of oil in them you have to move a bit of oil in order to make them actually move their distances and with the small tubes it takes a little while to push that through with the larger hoses going into the main gear that actually happens fairly quickly even though the cylinders are actually the same size between the front and the rear uh, it actually is not really that big a problem but the problem comes in into play and that I, inside the fuselage I have also replaced the larger pump lines with the smaller stainless steel lines. Uh, obviously that's going to be a problem to move that amount of fluid that I need to move to actuate the gear in a relatively quick manner. Uh, so what we're going to do today is all the stainless tubes that are down in the well here they're going to be replaced with the hard rubber tube so I kind of wasted my time building those but uh, lesson learned but that way from the pump into the all the way down into the main gear will be the larger bore tubing so that the uh, fluid will move quickly and then uh, the nose wheels will just catch up when they do but uh, I don't want to have to pump through these small little lines and try and fill everything up with that amount of flow so that's today's job we're going to complete the lines from the left float or the right float I'm sorry <coughs> and uh, they're going to come clear up into the fuselage as one piece and come over to where this little T is sitting and then we'll go from there see how much hose I have to order so alright that's where we're at today <laughs> 